My name is Chris with Headlight Revolution and today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the factory HID projector headlights in your 2017 Silverado. Now the reason we're going to be doing this upgrade is these headlights from the factory only operate at like 25 watts of output and the Morimoto uh, D5S bulbs actually operate at 35 watts. They're going to give you a little bit more output. We're going to show you guys the output shots on the wall so you can get an idea of what you're going to be expecting when you do this upgrade in your truck. I'm going to show you guys how to do the whole thing, start to finish, how to get the new bulb in there, how to get the old one out, and more importantly, what it looks like when it's done. Let's get started. All right, guys, this install is going to take place entirely behind the headlight right here. Now we've gone and set a camera to, the, to my right here, firing in at the headlight so that you can see exactly what my hands are doing. This is a pretty straightforward install. Um, here I've got the Morimoto XB D5S bulb, and this is one of the only replacement bulbs on the market. The reason for that is the way these bulbs work, they actually have the ballast and igniter built into it. So a normal HID kit, you got the HID bulb, you got an igniter and a ballast separate that gets mounted wherever. This is all one unit. And like I said in the intro, this operates at 35 watts of output, whereas the stock bulbs are only 25 watts. So you do see a significant output difference. It's not likely that a 55 watt option will be released. At this time, there is no 55 watt option. So right now, this is the best option available for these trucks. This is all you can get, and it is a tremendous upgrade. Now, to get the install started, there's a dust cover right here with two tabs on it, and you can just yank that off, it's just rubber. Set off to the side. And the cool part about these bulbs is they have a little mounting tab on the right of the bulb as you're looking at it. And it's plastic. And if you lift up on it, like so, the bulb just pulls out. These bulbs just kind of clip in. You just insert it and then you rotate that plastic tab either up or down. So, as you can see, Visually, there's not much of a difference between the Morimoto bulb and the factory Phillips bulb, and that's a good thing. Take your new Morimoto bulb, plug the power connector into the bottom, and insert the bulb right back where the factory bulb was. There you go. Now, one thing to remember, that little plastic arm on the right of the bulb goes down to install the bulb and up to remove it. That's all there is to it. It's really slick, it's really straightforward. No mounting ballast, no running wires, it's really easy. So, let's take, let's take a look at this on the wall and see how our output looks now. Okay, this is the stock HID bulb that you're gonna find in the 2017 Silverado. This is the stock D5S that you get right from the factory, no modifications whatsoever. This is about 20 feet from the wall, and as you can see, we are putting out 550 lux at 20 feet. Now lux is usable light output. As you can see, it's a great beam pattern. I mean, for a factory headlight, this is just fine. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can make it better. Now this is the Morimoto D5S replacement bulb, and this is at a 5500K color temperature that we got from them. They do have different color temperature options available. Uh, this one is what we figured would match the stock light as close as possible as far as color. We wanted to match the fog lights, and in hindsight, we could have even gone to a 6500K because the fog lights are actually kind of bluish. The lux result of this headlight test is 820 lux. The stock bulb was 550 lux. That is a tremendous difference. That is well worth the money. You're, you're almost doubling your light output, and that is exactly why we're here. That's what we're looking for. As you can see, the Morimoto bulb also maintains the stock beam pattern almost perfectly. This is the stock high beam from the 2017 Silverado stock bulbs. Now this output was actually pretty impressive. It was 1,230 lux. And just a reminder, the low beam was 550. So these trucks really have a nice high beam to them. I mean, this thing's really gonna throw light down the road. The light is nice and centered in the center of the beam pattern, which is exactly what you want. This is gonna reach a ways down the road. It's gonna illuminate any obstacles or anything in your way. Now let's see what the Morimoto bulb looks like. As you can see here, this is actually, they're both on now. On the right, we've got the stock bulb. On the left, we've got the Morimoto bulb. And you can see the Morimoto bulb is considerably brighter and it's got that different color to it. Now, once again, you can get any color temperature you want from 4,500, 5,500, and 6,500. So it's really up to you 
what you're looking for from the front of your truck for your light. All right guys, as you can see, there's a major difference between the two bulbs, especially on the wall. The light output difference is well worth the price point of these Morimoto bulbs. They're a fantastic upgrade, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot to them. They install pretty simply. You don't have to mount any ballasts, run any wiring, and that's probably the best part. Thanks for watching. Hey, we've got a lot of these videos out on this Silverado in particular. We've got reverse lights, cargo lights, uh, tail lights, you name it. Be sure to check out our channel, Headlight Revolution on YouTube, and also follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.